All right, for this video, we'll be talking about vertex edge graphs. Now, this part at the top here is otherwise known as just a graph or a digraph. And you'll be asked certain things about it, like for example here, about the vertices, the edges, and the possible paths. Now, your vertices are the little dots here. So we have one, two, three. So we have three vertices going on. There is one for raccoons. There is one for fish. And there is one for frogs slash tadpoles. So I'm going to move that one up. List the edges. Now the edges are always done in the direction of from where you're starting and to where it, your edge is heading. And edges are each of these straight lines. Edges can only go in a straight shot. Like for example, raccoon to fish to frogs is not an edge. An edge would be raccoon to fish or fish to fish. So, looking here, let me grab my text again. Listing the edges, we have raccoon going to fish. We have raccoons going to frogs. We have fish going to frogs. And we have fish going to fish very original I know now the last one lists all possible paths from fish to raccoon so we got to think about it is there a way we can get from fish to raccoons so from fish I know I can take this one right here and come back to fish but that doesn't really accomplish much from fish I can go to frogs but once I get to frogs there are no arrows leading away from it so technically there are no possible edges or no possible paths to get from fish to raccoons now the next thing you need to know about vertex edge is how we can change this digraph here into a matrix. Now essentially what we do is we count up the number of points we have, or vertices. We have one, two, three, four. And our matrix is going to be that many matrices, that many points by that many points. So the matrix we're looking for here is a four by four. And generally what we do is we do the letters going corresponding up and down and side to side across the top. So I'm going to grab a pen here. So we're going to go A, B, C, D, and then we're going go in the same order along the left hand side. A, B, C, and D. So let me change colors here. This is the matrix we need to fill. Now, this is where we come into play by looking at the edges. Now, the parts on the left tell us where we're starting from. The parts on the top tell us where the edge ends. If we can get there in a straight shot on one edge, then it gets a one. If we can't, it gets a zero. So if you're looking at from A, from A, we can go to B, because we do have an arrow, so it gets a 1. But if you think, I cannot go to C in a straight shot, so it gets a 0. This one only has an arrow going to A. I do not have one going to D, so I cannot go from A to D, so it gets a 0. And if you look, there is no loop coming back to A, so A does not go to itself as a 0. So take a second, pause this, and see if you can finish the rest. Okay. So, from B, we can go to D and we can go to C, but we cannot go to A and cannot go to B. From C, we can go nowhere because all edges lead to it. So this one has one of all zeros. And then from D, it only has one arrow, oh, sorry, two arrows going away from it, one to A and one to C. So I'm gonna scroll it down. So there's my one for A one for C. There's my zero here for B and my zero here for D. So if you look at it, this kind of looks like binary code because it's all the zeros and the ones. This way this matrix represents the entire thing that this graph did in a little bit more concise space. Take a minute, try this graph. Okay, we have three vertices. Atlanta, Birmingham, Columbia. It really doesn't matter which order you do your letters in. So I'm going to spell a word. I'm going to spell cab. So I'm going to start with Columbia, 
then go to Atlanta, and then Birmingham. So I'm going to do the same thing on my left. C, A, scroll my little thing down a little bit, B. Put my little brackets on there. There we go. Okay, so from Columbia. You see we have this loop, and we have the arrows going both ways. So that means with Columbia, it can come back to itself, so it gets a 1. Atlanta, from Columbia, I can't go there. So that one gets a zero. But I can go to Birmingham because this is of this arrow right here. So it gets a one. Now from Atlanta, I have an arrow here going to Birmingham. I have an arrow going to Columbia. But there is no loop going to Atlanta. So we have a zero right here. A one. And a one. All right, and then Birmingham. I have an arrow going to Columbia. And I have an arrow going to Atlanta. So a one a 1 and a 0. Very simple. If you ever need help, just replay and retry.